worker will experience at least one symptom of psychosis over the course of their lives. Point one psychosis is defined as the loss of contact with reality, during which time a person cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined. Symptoms include delusions believing something that is not real and or hallucinations seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, or tasting something that is not real. Psychosis usually accompanies in episodes of extreme mania in persons with bipolar eye disorder the more severe form of the disease. While less common, it can also happen to people with bipolar 2 disorder. Psychosis is also a feature seen with other types of mental illness, including schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. Certain physical illnesses such as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, brain tumors, and stroke can also trigger a psychotic episode, and it can even be an extreme feature of postpartum depression. Symptoms Within the context of bipolar disorder, there is no clear understanding of what causes psychosis. While people will often refer to it as a psychotic break, the reality is that a psychotic episode usually develops slowly over time. Getting help for psychosis sooner rather than later can make the recovery process faster and easier, so early indicators should not be ignored. That said, people close to the individual experience psychosis are usually the ones to detect these symptoms. People experiencing psychosis will typically appear incoherent and completely unaware of how extreme their behavior has become. In terms of symptoms, they are typically classified as being either mood congruent or mood incongruent, understanding delusions. Delusions are false beliefs that a person believes are true. Previously referred to as paranoid disorder, delusions are characterized by episodes that are either bizarre something beyond the realm of possibility or non-bizarre things that are within the realm of possibility. Examples of bizarre illusions include being abducted by aliens or having a CIA tracking device in your head. Non-bizarre delusions, by contrast, often manifest with claims of being poisoned, followed, or loved from afar. Unlike hallucinations, delusions can often seem perfectly normal in casual situations. Psychotic delusions are typically clustered around one or several of the following themes, jealousy, usually related to a loved one's infidelity. Grandiosity, characterized by an inflated sense of self-worth. Erotomania, the belief that someone important loves you. Persecution, in which you believe others plan to do you harm. Somatic delusions, by which you believe you are ill or have a physical defect. Understanding hallucinations. Hallucinations are characterized by physical sensations that are not real. With regards to bipolar disorder, this may be caused by an extreme manic episode combined with extreme sleep deprivation the latter, of which can also cause hallucinations in people who don't have bipolar. Hallucinations don't just involve perceptions, but actual sensations involving one or more of the five senses. They can be classified as visual hallucinations. Auditory hallucinations, such as hearing voices that aren't there. Olfactory hallucinations, involving smells. Tactile hallucinations, such as feeling bugs crawling all over you. Taste hallucinations. Is psychosis dangerous? The word psychosis can be scary for some people, suggesting the affected person is likely to inflict self-harm or cause harm to others. While this is possible, particularly in cases of severe mood incongruent psychosis, episodes are usually more troubling than dangerous. A word from very well. With a holistic approach to treatment of bipolar psychosis, including psychotherapy, medication, and social support, most people can fully recover and return to their normal life without further incident. While bipolar disorder cannot be cured in the traditional sense, with proper diagnosis and treatment, symptoms of the disease 